The British government on their website detail whether or not you should visit a particular country. If it's all green, this is classed as a safe country to visit. Orange means you should only visit if it's for essential means, like perhaps visiting a family member who is seriously ill. And then red means you should not travel whatsoever. In doing so, your travel insurance may be void. So if something were to happen to you and you'd get injured, you may have to pay the entire medical bill. Some countries find their map painted with all three colours, like say, Nigeria, which is about an equal mixture of the three. The red parts of the country are where Boko Haram are active, a brutal terrorist group. You then have plenty of orange as well as green where you'll find Lagos and the capital of Abuja. So let's travel around the world and investigate all of the countries that are completely red as of early August 2024. So let's start off with Europe. How many countries do you think are completely red? Well, believe it or not, there are actually two, and one of those is not Ukraine. Ukraine's west is kind of orange. So the two completely red countries are Belarus and Russia. Russia is, of course, the world's largest country, so going by the British government's advice, we already can't visit 11% of Earth's land, and we've only just begun. Belarus is of course Russia's biggest European ally. As the war with Ukraine rages on, the uncertainty and danger of the region continues to make this place a region a very dangerous place. Let's now move on to the Americas, where across this entire region there is only a single country that is entirely red. Any idea which country it is? So, some of you might be thinking maybe Venezuela, which would be a good guess as the majority of the country is orange with red along its borders. However, the only country to be completely red across North and South America is found in the Caribbean. It is a country that sees unrest, gang and political violence as well as some pretty bad natural disasters. It is Haiti. Before we move on, take a look at Brazil's map, it's super interesting. So the entire country is pretty much green, apart from this region here which sees these thin orange lines. These are rivers in the Amazonas state which connect the country to Colombia, Peru and Venezuela. I'm guessing these rivers are orange as they're used for people or drug smuggling, a place you really don't want to be as a foreign tourist. So that was two countries for Europe and one for the entire Americas. There are no countries in Oceania that are completely red, so that leaves us with two continents left, of course if we exclude Antarctica. But which continent out of Africa and Asia do you think has the most completely red countries? Let's take a look. So let's start with Asia, where we have five countries in total that are completely red. And believe it or not, one of those is not North Korea or Israel. North Korea in fact finds its entire country map being orange, which means do not travel unless it's essential. However, as North Korea still hasn't reopened its borders after COVID, it is still closed off to the outside world for tourists. Now I've always thought this, but I genuinely think that North Korea is one of the safest countries in the world to visit as a tourist. That's as long as you stick to their rules. The threat of crime from locals is pretty much non-existent due to the extreme punishments they'd receive. The chances of getting pickpocketed in say London or Barcelona are astronomically higher than in say Pyongyang. Somehow Israel is not completely red. Obviously the West Bank, Gaza and the northern borders with Syria and Lebanon are, but the rest of the country remains orange. Now these are quite unpredictable times, so this might have changed by the time you're watching this video. So a country that is entirely red is Iran, which finds its entire country map looking like this. The British government states that being British is enough evidence to arrest and detain you for questioning. There is also the threat of all out war in this region, hence why it is completely red. Lebanon is another country that is completely red, as it finds itself in a region that is involved in conflict with missile barrages on the regular. It comes to no surprise that Syria is also completely red. A brutal civil war has raged through the country since 2011, with the death toll estimated to be an unbelievable 600 or so thousand. What's kind of crazy is that Lebanon and Syria are only around 180 kilometers across the Med away from Cyprus, a very popular tourist holiday destination. Yemen is another country that is completely red. 
Similar to Syria, the country finds itself amongst an ongoing civil war which started in 2014. Around 150,000 people have been killed directly from the war, with around 70,000 estimated to have also been killed due to famine and the lack of medical facilities. And finally we have Afghanistan, which since 2021 has been under full control of the Taliban, which the UK government declares as a terrorist organisation. However, unlike Syria and Yemen, there is no longer war in Afghanistan. That effectively ended in August of 2021 when the US pulled out. There are still some ongoing conflicts within the country, however. So those are the five countries that are completely red in Asia. But are there more in Africa? Well, no, there are actually only three. But before we take a look at the three, let's investigate Burkina Faso and the Central African Republic, who have interesting looking maps. For the Central African Republic, the entire country is red, apart from this tiny area here, which happens to be the city of Bangui, which is the capital. The reason why pretty much the entire country is red is due to armed groups controlling large areas of the country where they regularly kidnap, injure and or kill civilians. Burkina Faso follows the same theme as the Central African Republic, where the entire country is red, apart from its capital. So Niger finds its entire map being red, this is due to a military takeover in the country, to which there have been many protests. And then we have Sudan, where a civil war is currently brewing. The war started in 2023 with a death toll estimated to be around 15,000 at the time of making this video. And then finally, just south of Sudan, we have no other than South Sudan, a country which is now no longer in a civil war, but still frequently sees armed conflicts, kidnapping and other quite terrifying crimes. So that's 11 countries in total that are completely red. In other words, countries the British government has deemed to be too dangerous to visit for any reason at all. These 11 countries combined cover an area of around 25 million kilometers squared. That's nearly 17% of all land on Earth. Now, of course, this may have changed depending on when you're watching this video. Give me your predictions as to which countries you think might be added next. Also, are there any countries in this list that you're surprised about, or any countries that you're surprised didn't make it into today's video? Let us know below.